An eight-month-old colt died on a farm in Idaho over the past weekend, igniting an argument between local animal lovers and county authorities. Patricia Flagg, WSU online student and executive assistant of Second Chance Animal, a nonprofit organization run majorly by volunteers dedicated to animal welfare, said this is the third horse having died on the farm in the past month. Flagg said their team has been pouring resources into the Clearwater County Farm, assisting the low-income family for over two years by providing their animals with food, shelter, neutering, and rehousing. So far, the family has been issued three citations of animal cruelty from Nez Perce Tribal Police for the poor living conditions of their five horses, four dogs, cats, and goat, but no attempts have been made to remove the animals from the property. The question right now is why were three citations given and these you know, animals still died. Mm -hmm. So obviously authorities knew what was going on and they knew that they were in very poor conditions and over three months um, the conditions got worse and what happened is the animals ended up passing away. Elizabeth Dreck, animal science major and pre-vet at WSU, said the combination of feeding, maintaining, and receiving medical treatment for horses places a heavy financial burden on owners. Since her youth, Dreck has been riding in competitions and working with a horse rescue shelter in her hometown of Enumclaw. As soon as people start running out of money, the first thing to go is horses. And it's hard to get rid of them right now. People are just keeping them, hoping that the market will get better, and unfortunately the horses are not suffering. WSU philosophy professor Michael W. Myers said all cultures generally consider animal cruelty to be unethical. There's no difference between being cruel to an animal and being cruel to another human being. The Clearwater County Sheriff's Office was also contacted, but law enforcement declined to comment. At this point, with the animals dying, this is kind of our last ditch effort to try to make sure that this doesn't happen again. This is something that we feel like should have been prevented. People being upset about this will hopefully facilitate some change with how um, these things are handled. Second Chance Animal encourages donations and calls, urging the Clearwater County Sheriff to take action against animal cruelty. From WSU News, this has been Katie Manns.